What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again today. I'm gonna to show you how to get Fallout 3 and even Fallout New Vegas up and running on your Android device. Now this is not streaming from the cloud. It's not streaming from a local PC. This is actually running on the device, but it's not a native Android port. We're actually emulating Fallout 3 right now using software known as WinLater. And this is kind of a combination of other softwares like Box86 and Wine that allows you to play PC games on your Android device. Recently, there was a pretty big update to win later with some newer turn up GPU drivers, and I'm actually seeing some really good performance at a lot of these PC games that are compatible with this on the Red Magic 8 Pro. Also, Galaxy Tab S9, both of them utilize the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Now, at the time of making this video, I cannot get this working on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. There is other software out there known as Mobox, but this is a lot simpler for people just kind of starting out. So this is going to show you how to get Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas running on your Android tablet or phone. And keep an eye on the channel. I will put a link in the top of the description once the video is live. I've got Fallout 4 running on this and it's actually running pretty well. There are some configurations that we will need to throw in there. A few different tweaks here and there. So I will make its own tutorial and that's coming up really soon. So if you're watching this video a few days after it's been uploaded, then I've probably got that Fallout 4 video up. I'm pretty excited about that one, but today we're going to be covering Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Now, before we get started here, there are a few things to note. I would highly suggest using a controller, but you can set up touchscreen controls if you want to. Something like a wireless Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth works out really well with this application. The other thing, and probably the most important thing, is the version of the game that you're going to be using to run here. I'll be using the GOG versions, or good old games versions. They do have the GOG Galaxy that you can download, sort of like Steam. All of their stuff is DRM free. And the reason we're actually using these is because we can get the offline installer for each one of these games, and it makes it super simple to get it up and running on your Android phone or tablet. I've tried the Steam versions, and yeah, you can get them to work, but I've run into a lot of issues. Using the GOG versions with those offline installers, or even something known as like a repack, will work much better on your Android phone. So with all that out of the way, let's jump right into it. First thing we need to do is transfer our games over to our Android device. So I'm going to be moving to my PC. One of the most important things about easily getting these games up and running on your Android device are using DRM free games. Personally, I like GOG, but you can acquire these however you'd like. Basically, the easiest way to run these with WinLater is to get an installer. And luckily with GOG, since all of these games are DRM free, we can actually download an installer directly from within GOG. It's an offline installer. Kind of like those old repacks that you'd see online. I'm going to be demoing this with Fallout 3. Again, you can acquire these however you'd like, but you know, I would highly recommend supporting the developers. We're going to go to Fallout 3, and instead of using the regular old downloader right here in GOG Galaxy, we're going to download the offline installer. So for each one of these games, we can go to Extras, and right here, Offline Backup Installer. Fallout 3, Game of the Year Edition, we can start downloading it right here. Once this is downloaded, it's actually going to be in the same folder that they would usually install the full game in for GOG Galaxy. From our settings icon, if you go to manage installation, this usually won't be grayed out, so you can show folder. And that's going to bring us over to our GOG Galaxy folder. Games, we're doing Fallout 3. And inside of here, you'll have a downloads folder. This is the installer we want to transfer over to our Android device. We can do this with each of the Fallout games. So this is a three-part offline installer. Newer games will be much larger than this. But now what I'm going to do is plug my Android device in. I'm going with the Galaxy Tab S9 for this tutorial. And we can go ahead and transfer this over. So I'm actually going to snap my Galaxy over to the right-hand side. We'll head in here to Download. And I would highly suggest trying to keep everything as clean as possible. So we'll just uh, create a new folder here and call it Fallout 3. That way we don't get anything confused. We're going to take the offline installer again for Fallout 3. It's a three part offline installer. And transfer it right over to our Android device. Could take a little while depending on what kind of device you have. But while we're here, let's actually go ahead and transfer a save file. Because some people may want to transfer their save files over. So uh, really easy to find these. Documents. My games. And whatever game you're going to be using. Fallout 3. Saves. 
right in my downloads folder. That way I've also got my save file that I can transfer over and import on Android. We don't have to start fresh. Once all of this is transferred over, we can move over to our Android device and get everything set up. Okay, so I just moved over to my Android tablet to make it a lot easier to see here. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 with that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Really powerful setup here. Win later is actually really easy to install and set up. And as we've already done, we've transferred our Fallout 3 files from GOG over to our device. I've got them here on my Galaxy tablet. We need to download Win later. So what we're going to do is head over to the official GitHub. I'll leave a link for this in the description. We want to grab the latest version, but go ahead and read through everything. Gives you a quick rundown on the installation, some useful tips, all the credits, third-party apps used with this project. Over on the side panel here, we're going to go to releases. And at the time of making this video, we're on 6.1. They have updated that turnip driver, but unfortunately, I still can't get this to work on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. As soon as we can get that to work, we will see some really good performance out of a lot of these games, and I will be making a kind of a showcase video. But until then, we're going to go ahead and get this set up. When later, 6.1 APK might be higher in the future. We'll just download it. Once it's downloaded, we're going to open up a file manager. Now, I've already got one built in here, but you could use the Google File Manager if you're using a different device. I'm going to install the APK. So when later, 6.1, we'll go ahead and install. Your Android device might ask you a few questions if you've never sideloaded an APK before. But once we get that installed, we can actually open it. And what I'm going to do here is just add it to my home page. Just for easy access. So we've now got WinLater installed. We're going to open it up. For the first time, it's going to ask you for some file permissions. We're going to go ahead and allow. And now with the latest version of WinLater 6.1 and above, it's going to do all of the background work for us, installing the system files we need. So it'll automatically do this. And now we need to create a container. Personally, I create new containers for each game that I install, but you can use one if you wanted to. This way, it just kind of separates everything, makes it a bit easier on me. Up in the right hand corner, we're going to choose that plus icon. And from here, we can name our container. I usually go ahead and name it with whatever game I'm going to be using here. So we're going with Fallout 3. Now, from our screen size, I go to 720p, but you can experiment with this. We're going to go to 1280 by 720. Graphics driver, and you may need to swap between these depending on what game you're installing. But for this one, we're actually going to be using the Turnup Adreno driver. DX wrapper, I'm going to go with DXVK. We can also show our FPS. We can use all of our cores if we want to. Move down just a bit. GPU name, you could leave it at that 9800 GT or change it up. I'm gonna leave it right here for Fallout 3. And the last thing I'm really gonna change here is my video memory size. I'm gonna go to four gigs. So 4,096 megabytes. And there are some extra settings, our win components, environment variables, Drives, if you want to use, let's say, an SD card as your main drive, you can. And our advanced section. Box 86 preset, I usually go to performance with this. And again, you can kind of experiment. I've run into a few devices with WinLater that just doesn't like this Box 86 performance preset. So compatibility might be your best bet. Basically, what we did here was rename the container, change the wrapper, and up the RAM. Now we can choose the plus icon in the bottom right hand corner. And we've got a container available. Over here are three little dots. We're going to run this container. And once we're in here, it's going to look very familiar. So we'll just go ahead and minimize our file browser. I'll give you a quick rundown. Right down here, we can go to our start menu. And there's already a game built in. So if we go to games, we've got Minesweeper that we can play, but we're not going to worry about this because we want to install Fallout 3, the three part installer that we downloaded from GOG and transferred over to our Android device. From our file explorer, we're going to go to our D drive because this is going to be our Android device. This is our internal storage. 
and you can see it goes directly to our downloads folder. That's why I suggest placing it in your downloads folder. Fallout 3, GOG, and we've got the three part installer right here. We want to either double tap on that EXE or we can do a two finger tap and it's going to bring up our options menu. We're going to open, give it a few seconds, it'll initialize. You can change your language, but we're going to choose OK. Now, we need to make sure we agree to the EULA and install. So this could take a little while depending on how fast your storage is, but give this some time to finish up. And once it's finished, we can actually start playing the game directly on our Android device. And I would highly recommend using some type of controller, like I mentioned, Xbox or PlayStation controller works right out of the box. Okay, so Fallout 3 was installed successfully. We can launch it right now. This is gonna bring us into the launcher. It's automatically gonna configure our video settings, but since we're on an Android device, we wanna take this to low. So I'm just gonna to go to options here. We're gonna to go to low. We're still at 720p right here. And from advanced, we can actually take some more of these settings down, I believe, texture quality. Yeah, we can go down to low here. And usually I just turn as much as I can on down just to make it run a little better on Android. Make sure everything's looking good. We'll choose OK. And we'll hit play. Give it a second. It's going to boot us right into Fallout 3. If you want to start a fresh game, you can go ahead and do it. Or if you want to transfer some of your saves from your PC over, I'm going to show you how to do that. And we're going to create a shortcut so we don't have to really open up a container every single time to play the game. And just to give you a look here, this is really running on Android. We're using WinLater. It's not streaming from any other device. We can start a new game right now, or we can transfer some saves. And I'm going to do that. So I'm going to quit the game. And I'll show you where the save files go. Now remember, when we transferred Fallout 3 over to our Android device, we also transferred some saves. So we're going to go right to where those saves are, D drive. I'm just going to go with a single save, two finger tap. We can copy. Now we want to go to documents, my games, Fallout 3, saves, two finger tap, paste. Now we've got that save ready to go. Another thing we can do is add a shortcut. And to do this, we're going to go to our C drive. GOG Games, Fallout 3, and we can use the launcher or the EXE. I'm going to go with the EXE here. Two finger tap, create shortcut. Now we've got a shortcut right here on our desktop, but it's also going to be in our shortcut area inside of WinLater. We're going to shut this container down, and you can do this by pressing your back button on Android or swiping over from the left or right. Go to exit. Top left hand corner, we've got that hamburger menu, shortcuts, Fallout 3. So it automatically sets it over here for us. And we can start the game up directly from our shortcut area. This just makes it a lot easier to launch a game. That way we don't have to open up a container every single time. We'll load our game. And now we're playing Fallout 3 on our Android device. So with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, I've noticed we're anywhere from 45 up to 60 FPS, even with the maxed out Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and something like the Red Magic 8 Pro or the 8 Plus, whatever they're calling it. We're right there around 45 up to 60. And that's one of the big reasons I wanna see this running on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. I think we could run a lot of these games at 60 with that more powerful GPU. But unfortunately, right now, I just can't get it working. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you get this up and running on your Android phone or tablet. I will have the Fallout 4 tutorial coming up soon, so definitely keep an eye on the channel. And if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.